Oh, there you are, YouTube. So I just finished White Lotus on, what was it, HBO, I think? Is that what channel I was watching it on? And this is going to be sort of like a series, full series reaction. Um, but, you know, just finished watching the season, season series finale moments ago. I do believe, though, the show is coming back, maybe like as an anthology or something like that. Maybe like same actors playing different characters, maybe new characters. I don't, I don't know. But regardless, this season, I have been really enjoying this show and sort of described it whenever people are asking about it or uh, talking to somebody about it, like when I'm I don't know, recommending it. I'm always telling them that it feels like a pot so close to boiling over. Like, it's not just that this is, like, simmering. It's a little more than that. Like, it is almost, it's at the brim and about to go over. There's so much, so much, like, anxiety building up in the show the entire time. I don't know. I think people say cringy all the time. You're just like, ooh, how... How's this gonna go? Ooh, this is not gonna be good. Oh my goodness, how, how, what's gonna happen? And I feel like the entire show is like that. Every episode just feels very uncomfortable. You know how, like, The Office will make you feel uncomfortable? Speaking of, Plop is in this show, um, which is funny. <laughs> uh, but this, I already lost my train of thought. But where was I? This this show, let me try and, 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 and reel it in here because there's going to be no edits. This show, oh yeah, The Office, there we go. The Office has that feeling to where sometimes you have to look away, you can't watch, but it's done with humor. There's humor here, but the humor is much darker and there are some very like serious consequences to certain actions that take place. Um, not... Everything is done in humor, and that I think that makes it much harder to watch a lot of a lot of the stuff where the tension is being broken with the office, and that's not always happening here. I feel like there are entire episodes that you're watching like this, but there are also these great scenes where I guess shots I should say that are very like Terrence Malicky and the director of the episodes are, or maybe one director directed them all, I don't know, I haven't been paying attention, but they've, they'll just rest the camera on the Hawaiian landscape and waves and sunsets and underwater animals and it's all like done in like beautiful slow motion and it's just very pleasant to look at. And I feel like that's sort of where we get our our breathers, our punctuations, a step back away from feeling like this the whole time. Ugh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Which is very nice. I know I really haven't talked about the plot or anything of this move, this show. I'm just sort of giving the overall essence of it. But basically, it takes place at a resort, White Lotus, and different groups of people are staying here, and there is a manager, um named Armand, who is, I don't know the actor, this is my introduction to them, but he's fantastic. He's probably famous and I just don't know him yet. If he's not, I feel like he will be, because he is a major standout um, of the show, just incredibly handsome, uh, lots of charisma, just like perfect to be photographed and and, and shown in movies and, and TV. He is, he's like perfect for, for, for fame, I think. He's so great. I uh, wish I had his name, but no no edits to this. This is a one take. Um, so Google that, look that up yourselves, type it in, see who Armand is. I hope his name's Armand. That's one thing about television shows and movies, character names, in and out. But they're all, all these families, couples, um, individuals are all ending up in this resort and they all have their own problems that they bring with them. They have their reasons as to why they are there. Honeymoon, um, release ashes, um, just a family vacation, trying to get away from work. All these 
just a, a variety of reasons. And then you have the people at the hotel who, you know, I guess they're just, you know, working jobs, but, you know, different reasons for that. And we have their interactions with the guests. And I don't know, I think it's all very nice and, <laughs> and uncomfortable. But it all works. Like, it's, it's never something that I was like, I can't watch this anymore you want to know what's going to happen. And the show starts off with you seeing dead remains. Well, not remains, like a, like a, a box of remains being placed onto a plane. That's how it opens. And basically the show is sort of setting up the question, who is in this coffin, right? Who died out of all these individuals that you are meeting on the show? Who died and you but the, but the interesting thing is i i thought the entire show was going to be like a who done it sort of thing like a mystery and it's really not like that's always in the back of your mind who is in the coffin but you aren't i i don't think as you're watching it and i think this is a good thing actively trying to figure out who it is it may pop up every once in a while like oh i wonder if it's going to be them because, I don't know, I was developing theories every once in a while. Sometimes the theories that I had were so obvious that I deleted them as theories. And then, you know, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to give it away here. Uh, I'm going to try not to, I guess. Maybe I, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to give it away, but I guess spoilers, maybe. So this theory that I did have felt way too obvious. So I was like, delete, there's no way they're going to do that. And then it ended up being true. That ended up, I ended up being right, sort of. Like, my initial theory, I guess, was correct, but I thought it was too obvious, so I deleted it. And I think maybe that, in its own way, made it extremely surprising who was in that coffin. Because it seemed way too obvious that there was no way it could be that person. So, um, yeah, I had, I had other people you know, in, in mind for who may be in that coffin. And there, I think the way it's set up, it's trying to manipulate you into thinking it's a specific person. That person, I guess you could say is it would, that, that manipulation was a little obvious. So, you know, that was one person you, I, I think you could eliminate, um, because it's not, I don't know. It, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, they're not gonna make it that obvious. So I guess the person who I thought it was was maybe second most obvious. And then it ended up being that person. But yeah, I had, I had minor other characters placed in that box and I was wrong with those. Um, but anyway, the, what I, what I thought was interesting about all of that was that it, it didn't feel like a mystery. Like, I really like that. I, I like that they set that up and then took it away from me because those first couple episodes, I was like, what is this show trying to do? I don't understand. Like, when when's this killing going to happen? When am I going to find out who's in the box? I guess I don't know if it's a killing, but you're that's kind of where you're thinking because everybody's, there's a lot of tension in the show building up. So you're, you're sort of out there thinking there's going to be some sort of murder. And you're waiting for it and then the show's just different you're just like watching these lives and that MacGuffin that that mystery that whodunit just sort of melts away and it's barely on your mind and you're just enjoying the show as a show watching all these cringy uncomfortable moments sort of boil up and you're just waiting for everything to boil over and then things finally do and I don't know, it's kind of depressing, <laughs> but uh, at the same time, a very entertaining and enjoyable show. And I'm ex I, th I, I heard they're going to make more. So, I mean, I, I can't say anything official on that, I guess, because I don't know, just, you know, hearing stuff. I, I hope it's as good as this season, because I thought this was great. And if it is an anthology with different characters, I hope they are played by the same actors, because I really like the group of people they have. Steve Zahn, um, Connie Britton, um, Stifler's mom. Uh, just, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a great cast, and I, I'd like to see him again in, in a sequel episode, or sequel season. Anyway, 
Um, where am I? About 10 minutes? I think that's good. So yeah, mostly just providing an essence reaction and overall enjoyed it. Really liked it. I hope it gets nominated for awards. So on that note, perhaps I'll see you tomorrow. What did you think of the show actually? Did you, did you watch it? If you watched it, what did you think? Did you guess the person in the coffin? Because again, I did, but then I was like, no, that's too obvious. But because it was so obvious, it became a surprise to me. So anyway, now on that note, perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Peer Hangout.